top ones there were held in by clamp. The small one on that end is um, got fillets either side. So when I took the clamps off to clamp the bottom curtain rail on, that one was fine. This one sort of fell on my head while I was fitting the bottom one. Hey guys, welcome to uh, Sailing Foxy Lady. This is my full restoration of a 1973 30-foot Aristocat. Uh, please like and subscribe if you would like to follow our progress. Thank you. Hi hey guys. I've obviously upset someone somewhere because it's now Sunday afternoon. Um, my truck brakes are knackered. I'm waiting for bits. My bike brakes are knackered. Uh, I'll take that whole ABS pump out. And my paint won't dry. Well, I didn't activate it. So they say the good things come in threes, bad things come in threes, whatever it is, it's coming in a three. Um, just got down to the boat. So out there, I've got my rather large drum of acetone, big thing of rags. I'm gonna get a, one of these buckets, fill it of acetone, rags, just get in there and get rid of that bloody unhardened top coat. On a good note though, me redoing the, um, Epoxy along there has worked a treat. So need to look at the uh, the scrubbing it all back and doing the biaxing and all that good shiz. But before that, I'll stop waffling and I'll uh, get on out there and get that paint off. Because I'm working in a small hatch and I have face mask on in this buggable room, I'm not going to film it, but I'll get bits as I go. Cheers. That wasn't as painful as I thought it was going to be, but even with my sort of face mask on, um, it's really windy, so plenty of air movement. Just in that tight space with acetone. Wow, lucky it didn't take that long. So it's not perfectly off. Like down in the uh, the far corner there, I just physically can't get there. I tried with a stick and a rag, um, so there is still. A little bit of un, unmixed paint there, minuscule amount. Um, there's bits, little patches right here, um, and along there, where for whatever reason it's gone off. So anywhere where it's white still, it's gone off. Um, how it's why it's gone off, don't know, but it has. Um, but that is about as good as it's going to get. Uh, I'm hoping, what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix up, actually mix up with hardener and paint this bulkhead on the back here, just for now, let it go off and see if what's underneath affects the way it goes off. If it doesn't, I'm going to do it panel at a time, finishing on the floor piece. Um, yeah, but just for now, I'm going to do the one panel, see how it reacts. Okay, that's the uh, bulkhead and the surrounding area bit painted up. I'm not overly concerned about this hose. Um, let's see where I've got paint and stuff on it. It's quite brittle, so in the very near future I'll, I'll get that swapped out for something less brittle. Um, might even try and route it a little bit better out of the way so it doesn't get knocked when the stuff's getting put in there. But I let that go off make sure that goes off 100% everywhere and I'll know I can move on to the rest of it. Hey guys, uh, made a bit, a little bit of my balls up. Um, I've got a big roll of CSM and I thought I had a roll sat on the boat and I haven't. Um, so what I've done, I started doing the tabbing. So I've got the CSM uh, biaxial one in CSM around here. And then when I got to that, this, well, the rest of it basically, I'd wet out with epoxy. Um, and then I couldn't then, I didn't have a CSM basically. So rather than getting the, the, the wax and the stuff coming off the epoxy, 
I've just put peel coat over the wet epoxy. So tomorrow or whenever I come down, I've got the I've got the CSM. I can tear it all off, and then it's good to go without the anine blush, whatever it's called on there. Morning, guys. So it's bank holiday weekend. I'll see. I've had a bit of a haircut. Um, just come down here. I don't, not, I can't, I'll pop down here. Um, just did a little bit of glass in last week, but I've not really seen. I've been down there for quite a while. Um, so today, my plans are to pull up this peel ply. This weekend is um, forecast is looking pretty good. So my plan is I've got some lolly sticks. Out of my kids' art and arts and crafts. Um, and all I'm going to do is thicken epoxy and just put a nice little um, fillet all the way around these. Um, then I'm going to pull the windows out, give it all a good sort of sand down, flatten off, make sure everything's looking as it I should don't be. I don't waffle on too much, but also today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to record a few angles and start looking at making up the um, the template for the new Dodger. So I want to record this shape, we'll see the angle, so I can replicate that throughout the boat. What I also want to try and do is get this shape, so I can have that up here. So I want the, the new Dodger to look like the rest of the boat. So it looks like it, it belongs on the boat. Um, exactly how I do that, I'm not 100% sure yet. Probably I'll do it with a black plastic liner, just a lot of cutting, a lot of trial and error until I get that right angle. Um, I just want to get everything sort of, I get, get the angle, start recording stuff so now I can make the mold accordingly to make the ceiling panel, or the roof panel. Um, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I've thought about it a lot. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about a lot. And there's some important stuff going on at work. I'm thinking about making this bloody dodger. Um, such a big job, it's not something you wanna do twice. You wanna get it right first time. But, yeah. Anyway, right, I'll stop waffling. Um, I'm gonna get on with doing stuff, uh, like I've been trying to do with my editing recently. Um, I'll just catch snippets as I go, rather than loads and loads and loads of footage, just so you can see the progress that I'm making. Um, don't know if it's on the camera or not. I've got a, once I start getting that, that merch stuff knocked up through Teespring. Um, as you can make the logo what size you want. So automatically on t-shirt, they make it, it's a bloody great big logo. I'm a fan of a smaller, more sort of discreet logo on, on the chest. Um, this one's come out far too big, so I'll, by the time this video comes out, it'll be a week or two delay, um, I'll amend it that and I'll order some more. So I'm going to have a t-shirt with a small logo, a t-shirt with a big logo for people that want it, uh, and I'm going to try and get, which I prefer, some sort of polo shirts with a small logo made up. Uh, I think there's hoodies on there as well. But it's something I need to do and visit and amend and stuff, which I'll do in the next few days. But I'll leave it there. Uh, I'm going to tune off and I'm going to do a quick whirlwind, play a catch up, get a few jobs done and tune in as I go. Cheers, guys. Okay, so the window's now sort of sanded. Wipe down of acetone. Now I'll get me old uh, lolly sticks with a thick and epoxy. Get that fillet put in there. Ooh, that's not looking too shabby. Um, the floor is all right. I mean, there where I've done the the ooh, three layers, it's gone off fine. A bit of excess. I'll see along there. A bit more prep for me later, but the floor's got to be painted out in epoxy anyway. Um, when I get when I, when I get there. Under here, there's a couple of bits that are quite dry. It's not, it's on, but it just looks dry. Um, so I might need a bit more practice doing that. It looks like it's not glued, but it actually is, it's solid or epoxy. So maybe I, maybe I was a bit stingy there. I don't know. 
or it's supposed or by actual supposed to look like that but here it's obviously it's greened off uh, maybe that's too much resin on there and this is there's areas like this it looks like it's dry but I wetted it out loads uh, it's all gonna need a good clean up before I can paint it you know, I'm not I'm far from a um, you know an absolute perfectionist but I'm not having that that looks horrendous but that's a future problem um, so I'm gonna do now is thicken epoxy do the finishing uh, do a couple of little touch-ups where there's still sort of notches around the window frames um, and then from there I'll start looking at some templating Cheers. Okay, the fillets are in around them. A couple of little bits that need to touch up um, along the inside edges are done. So I'm a little bit proud, I need sanding. I've done the same, the same, the same with the other side. So filleted around the edges on there and all the way around there. So I need to wait for this to go off now, which won't be very long in this temperature, hopefully. I'll pop that window out. Um, I'm going to route out that one. Um, so I'll do all three windows at the same time. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look at um, sort of a bit of future thinking on these front windows is for runners, for um, curtains, top and bottom. So I've got this material, nice and thin, nice and bendy. Um, and I'm going to clamp it top and bottom. The bottom one I think I can do in one piece. The top one I might have to do in two because, they're, because of the shape. But I'll see what I can do. Get it sort of mocked up, get some thick and epoxy, clamp it on and uh, let it kick. Okay, I'm not 100% sure I like the look of this, but it's held in with thick and epoxy now, so it's a bit late if I don't. Um, ultimately, it's going to be hidden with curtains and stuff, but that's thick and epoxy just clamped in. I've only got two clamps, so I'll wait for that to kick and then I'll put the bottom one in. But that's it for now. Hey guys, so quick um, update before I disappear. Uh, I need to come back later tonight to stick not the windows in, possibly a couple of windows in, um, but I'm going to get some of my black floor plastic and to go and buy another sheet. Um, and I'm going to glue that over the windows just to get it in and out quicker. I'm going to take the actual windows home, um, draw around them on the plastic and work out exactly what shape, size, how I'm doing the plastic. Um, and then look at cutting the sheet, try not to mess it up, try and get a nice decent cut. Um, once I've worked out the exact shapes of what I want, I'll do, I'll cut one and see what it comes out like. If it's a complete catastrophe, I might look at getting, um, you know, a company laser, get it done properly. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be, you know, nothing's, you know, it's not a million pound yacht, so there no, shouldn't be nothing that I can't sort out on a, on a sheet of plastic, but we'll see how it goes. So, quick sit wet. So, the top ones there were held in by clamp. The smaller one, that end, is um, got fillets either side. So when I took the clamps off to clamp the bottom curtain rail on, that one was fine. This one sort of fell on my head while I was fitting the bottom one. So that is now just popped up with that bit of wood uh, and I've just filleted either side. It's got epoxy all the way through on the back there. So I was gonna leave that until when I come back tonight, uh, in which case it should be hard enough that it'll hold its own weight, same as the bottom. Um, then moving on from there, when I come back tonight, depending what time I get back, I'll fill it all the way around them rails um, 
and tomorrow potentially a bit more a bit more sanding a bit more finishing might might get some uh, epoxy vinyl on but we'll see because it would be bloody great to get that done and get that a little bit even if it's getting it on there and then that highlights what else i need to do and then i'll carry on from there but it'd be it'd be great to get some paint on um yeah so i need to go home now sam and kate are going to go and do zumba so i need to go and look after lauren uh i'll nip to wix get another sheet and my black carpet protector and i'm going to go and ply is really expensive at the minute um i think because of covid and brexit and everything else but i'm gonna go and get as cheap as i can not necessarily ply just a big sheet of wood that what i've done i've templated the curve in the uh in the roof of the dodger i've templated the curve on the side of the boat um sort of this on the outside i've got a template of that made of plastic and i've got a template of the angle of attack sort of the front window where it meets the coach roof so i can use them to try and replicate the new dodger so, sorry i'm going to replicate the coach roof with a new dodger to try and make it look like it's sort of part of the boat rather than some old greenhouse prick stick on anyway i'm gonna stop waffling um i'll come down later get that sealed up i may get some snippets in i may not um if not i'll see you in the morning cheers hopefully hopefully long haired jen will come down later and uh she can be the, the decider